currently Canada produces a large portion of the world's supply of this very important medical isotope, Technetium 99M. The isotope is used to, in, to save lives essentially, it's used to uh, image patients that are uh, suffering from uh, cardiac ailments, cancer, uh, and, and other, other diseases that uh, uh, require the imaging of, of uh, technetium. When Chalk River shuts down, a very significant portion of that global supply will go with it. The technology we're working on today is using psychotrons already installed in hospitals throughout the country to produce a radioactive product, the isotope we want. It would do it in the hospital where the isotope would be used in the region where it could be shipped locally. We don't produce the long-lived radioactive waste that a, a nuclear reactor would, nor do we use enriched uranium to produce this isotope. So in that sense, it's a greener technology as well. It is simply an innovation and extension of what the healthcare system is currently working on and working toward, which is a regional supply of medical isotope. It's been a fantastic team working together, uh, four institutions uh, in total. There were a lot of skeptics. People said uh, it couldn't be done. Um, and I think what uh, really was a successful outcome of this project was a team coming together and um, looking at this with an open mind and, uh, and, and tackling one of the challenges after another. We've produced well over a dozen uh, publications. We've trained over 179 uh, students at various levels of their training. Uh, we have uh, 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 involved various other companies in our uh, approaches, so I think there are clear metrics for the success of it. This project is a wonderful example of how fun uh, funding for fundamental research can lead to tangible benefits for society. We see that as a very important investment of, of taxpayer money, and we take that investment very seriously. And when we have an opportunity like this present itself, a problem present itself, we're happy to say we have the expertise and the infrastructure in place to address that, that unmet need.